All right, so this should, should be going live. There it goes. That, that, check out this. Yeah. Oops. Uh -oh. This. Shoot. Yeah. Oops. Uh -oh. This. Shoot. Yeah. Oops. Uh -oh. Shoot. This profile image can take you to the channel home. Oh, I see. All right. Where's the mic? Where's the mic? There it is. Well, that was weird. That was a lot of like uh, squeaking or whatever. All right. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment. This is your host, Wyman. Um, man, I have not streamed in some time. I got to get back to the program. Lots of unrelated uh, real life stuff happening that kind of screwed with my schedule again. So I uh, haven't been able to showcase any Indiegogo books from Comicsgate. I hope to change that soon. But things are getting busier as we get into the holiday seasons too. And uh, as the economies gradually start opening back up, Wanted to try and get in this uh, P.O. Box opening stream before it got any darker. I meant to start earlier, but then I ran into some technical difficulties. Uh, all right, so let me see how many I have total today. Looks like I've got eight packages total. Uh, let's see, scissors. How are you doing, Matanui? What's up with you? What you doing? Got to get myself refreshed. Oh, by golly. Man. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight boxes today. Eight boxes. To, well, boxes and packages. This time around, no tubes. Oh, wait. Let me see what's going on with. Mandy, Charlie's London, da, da. wait, what, what is this, something new from Mandy, Man, oh my gosh, a new show, Yeah, it's planning with it, oh my gosh, it's sort of like a talk show, what, oh my gosh, imagine Saturday Night Live for CG, you don't have to, holy crap, that's a neat idea. Mandy versus Charlie. So, oh my gosh. Guess geekery, pop culture, fun and games. You won't want to miss this. Oh my gosh. Damn. What an idea. All right. I got to take a moment to respond to them. All right, let's see. Um, guess, geeker. 
Saturday at six Eastern. Shit. Uh, let me do. Let me do a screenshot of that. So Mandy Summers and. Uh, Oh, they're going to incorporate the what the F is, all this junk for Mandy and uh, Pete Gilmore's show. All right. So I got a screenshot. Hopefully I remember. I probably should uh, just make... I should probably just do a... Create a calendar reminder or something. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so tweet, 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 Is this even Comicsgate related? Can't even remember. This comes from, <clears throat> excuse me, MPC, makeplayingcards.com. I don't remember anything I might have ordered specifically from them, but it's in a uh, package like so. It's got address information on both sides, so <clears throat> excuse me. Try not to dox myself. Oh my gosh! Whoa! All right, all right. So it came in a little baggy. It doesn't have an adhesive on it. How is this supposed to close then? Are you supposed to tape it down? It looks like it's got a special design, like. Oh, if you peel off this strip, I guess, you can make it an adhesive cover. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. All right, so it looks like, so 6 a.m. comics does these uh, drawings of all these characters from Comicsgate. And, uh, whoa, this is cool. And I love the case. I don't think I'm going to keep this little baggie. I was almost going to, but I don't think I'm going to keep it now. So I, <clears throat> excuse me. On uh, Dr. Drew, he does, uh, Drew Ish, he, uh, he has this thing every su Sunday, uh, you know, bingo game, and you can participate. And if you win bingo, you can win one of the prizes that they're offering. All right, let me try and carefully open this. One of the prizes was a deck of cards of Comicsgate characters from 6 a.m. Comics. And they're freaking cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is nice. All right, so the ace of spades is uh, Cyber Frog. Let me see something. Hold on. Supposedly spam phone calls are trying to come in. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to recognize all of them. Uh, Chubbs from, or uh, Merry Boys is the two of spades. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I forget some of these. I think this is one of Sim's characters, Sympathia. Yeah, I don't recognize some of these characters. Some of these, I think, are from Jawbreakers from Richard C. Meyer. Ya boy, Zach. Some of these, I think, are from... Oh, crap. Oh, excuse me. I think some are from uh, Graveyard Shift. 
Let me see if I can find someone I can recognize. I'm just smelling the card. <laughs> Excuse me. This, uh, I can't remember, but uh, it's from the uh, Team USA or something like that. These uh, Olympians, I guess, who get in some accident and become uh, cyborgs. Cyborg USA, I think is what it's called. Oh, Rainbow Brute is the Ten of Spades. How cool is that? And I think this is from Vestige. Oops. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sunsworn. Hey, Fade, how's it going? Oh, by the way. I'll dump it in here since hardly anyone's here. If I recognize you, I'll let you join if you're interested in hopping on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, shoot. I wonder how they decided, how 6 a.m. Comics decided who would be on which card. I think this is uh, 6 a.m. Comics' uh, original character that he made a video game on the Apple App Store for. Wart the Wizard from Mandy Summers. This looks like Magic Cop. Oh, I don't recommend. Oh, more uh, Cyborg USA. This is so cool. I love it. <laughs> uh, Cecil. Oh, this is Salem Android. King of Hearts. Didn't oh, um, Pillow Man and Blanket Boy. I forget the name of the creator of that book. Six Gun Gorilla. Da -da 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 -da. Someone's playing what I think is uh, Spanish music in the out of their car. Boop, boop. Hey, Fade, how's it going? Hey, going good. How's it going with you, Whites? Good. Yeah, it's been forever since I last streamed. Ugh. All kinds of scheduling things going on. Uh, it just shows your work's becoming busy now, so that's a good thing there, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Do you know, is this <laughs> Lil... Let me, I'll go full screen again. Okay. Oops, that's not full screen. <laughs> Is this Lilith from Graveyard Shift? Can you tell? I think it is. Right. But don't hold that on me quite yet because I'm not 100% sure. More Cyborg USA. Oh, that's that one zombie one. Um, oh, by the way, that thing I got for you, uh, I'm hoping to get that mailed off before the end of the weekend. Oh, wait, weekend. I don't know. This is close on Sundays, isn't it? It is. Right? <laughs> we might try to do it Saturday. Oh, this is oddity. Uh, oh. Sorry for the delay. Been meaning to get it out to you. Oh, no worries. Oh, oh. that reminds me, too. I wanted to show you, show you something on here. Little Umbrella Girl. Oh, hold on. Oh, man. Is that 
I don't remember. Uh, no, is that narwhal? I wonder if that's winger. Holy crap. All right. Let me, <clears throat> so basically, uh, first item I've opened is a deck of cards by 6 a.m. Comics. I won it in a uh, promo. Oh my gosh, wow. If you look carefully, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like a, a wavy edge to this case. Mm. What a trip. Nice. What a fancy box. Um, Drew, Dr. Drew Ish does, uh, I don't know if he's been keeping up with it. He was doing uh, Sunday bingo games, and I won like two or three of them. Nice. Yeah, I got to figure out how to enter in that. There we go. Out of focus, it almost looks like Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> the comic one, not the crappy MCU <laughs> not. Ooh, ouch. Man. You know, I was actually rather pleased with uh, MCU's Thanos. I mean, if you just kind of go with the flow, it mm -hmm. becomes acceptable. <laughs> but then people have pointed out that if you folk, if you look closely at all the uh, after credit scenes mm -hmm. uh, of Thanos, his shade of purple varies slightly through the different ones. Mm. Um, Hold on, I'm going to share what I got a couple of days ago. If I can just Do you have a second account? Yep. Why do you have a second account? To show this. <laughs> Why don't you just do a share screen instead of logging in under a second account? Because I, I have no clue how to do people. that or that. What? Doesn't your, uh, there we go. Doesn't your um, thing have the option of hitting share screen? Uh, I don't think so. But here's oh, the whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Devils Nine? Nine Devils? Yep. Holy crap. I don't I backed that book, but I don't remember getting it yet. Yeah, I just got it a few days ago, so I even got the area cover. Oh, you got the Rockabilly Road Trip. Yep. The one that's based on the Akira uh, like an homage to the Akira cover. Yep. Nice. Was there anything else or just the two books? Oh, I think I... Hold on, let me get back in here. I think I showed the card, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Give me uh, just a sec. There was a trading card? Yep. I got the $20 one with their Chromium card. Hmm. Oh, the other thing you could have done... Um, share screen wouldn't have done it. You could just go on camera. And my camera's not good right now, so... <laughs> Oh, you and I, you and I got a new camera, but I want to hold that off until I stream with Richard because it's a better thing at camera. Hold on. There we go. And... Okay. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> let's, let's see if I can get that just right. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. All right. and then you got the shiny card right there. Is, is it inside the bag? Yes. Oh. I haven't opened it yet. So. No, right, that's why there's a glare and stuff. Mm. So. Right on. And I got him autographed, or not autographed, signed. So. Yes. Nice. Fantastique. All right. And I wanted to get it before he relaunched. Before Preston relaunched the uh, Nine Devils campaign again, you know, with uh, Mike or Brian, if I remember right. Hmm. So, uh, tell me about this uh, stream you're going to go on. It, it, are you doing a new show or something? I stream with Richard, remember? Richard Ombre. Oh, Richard Ombre, okay. All right. J Money and John and them, so. Oh, okay, I, was, I didn't realize it was a regular thing. Is it uh, like once a week or more than once a week? A couple times a week. We stream now Tuesdays and Fridays. 
And what kinds of topics do you cover? Uh, we usually, you know, are talking about uh, books. So tonight we have uh, Luke Stone coming back on again and a new one, one of Mike's friends. Hold on, I gotta see what the name was again. Right on. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm... oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you were saying? Uh, I said, but yeah, we're usually streaming around. Here it is. Uh, Melvin, that's the other comic book. Oh, Melvin, about. okay. All right. I don't think I've uh, had a chance to get that person on my show yet. Yeah, Max Lee is Ma the author's name. Max Lee? Max Lee. Okay. All right. Right on. All right. So this is the next mailer number Ooh. two of eight packages um eva let's see at valusion at valusion this is coming from san diego california mm. yes empty yeah, I'll stick with you for a little bit, wise guys. So, oh, all right. Do you have uh, some other streams coming up? Well, just Richard's, but I gotta, you know, get set up for that. Let my dog out, feed the dogs, you know. Oh, when when are you guys streaming? At five o'clock. Pacific time. Five six seven. Oh, all right. So an hour from now, yeah. less than an hour. All right. Oh, all right. So um, I got Dirty Work at the Crossroads, number yeah. one. Ooh, nice. And then there's, a, I'll put it up briefly, but uh, the more adult version. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so it looks like when he bags and boards, he slips the top of the bag into the back. It doesn't use tape. Mm. All right. That's number two of eight. Oh, nice. Let's see. How do I do this? All right. So, so we got one of these kinds of packages that is a uh, uh, bubble ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's a picture of Cyber Frog. Oh, nice. And I'm not sure, but I think this is supposed to be Red Rooster. <laughs> uh, oh, or just a generic rooster. Or a Probably a generic rooster. Yeah, because Red Rooster is actually, it looks like it's a man, right? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I was off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's not some... That's not Red Rooster, the superhero. That's just some other rooster or chicken. I gave uh, oh, hold on a minute. I gave uh, Geek Chorus a heads up just in case he was available. Uh, yeah, to let him know that I was opening one of his packages uh, tonight. Uh, let me all right. Okay, so open this bad boy up. All right, sweet. So hmm. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, so I got some more thumbs Damn. up from Geek Chorus. That's a whole lot of freaking thumbs yeah, up. You, know, you know how I like his music. And Geek Chorus, for those of you uh, who aren't familiar, is uh, the this guy who's uh, he's got a YouTube channel. You know what? I should probably. 
Link his page. Yeah. Uh, There you go. Yeah, so this is Geek Chorus. He, he uh, makes all these funny songs uh, about comic skate. Mm. Things that go on in comic skate. Mm. Crack me up. So if I understand correctly, he he's upped his game and finally has it so that in, uh, he's got an eBay store and mm -hmm. uh, so I purchased these drives so that I can give them away to people and uh, he was originally just uh, transferring his uh, audio file songs to the thumb drive uh, but now he does uh, I, th I think he got it to where he can uh, you know, do movie files now. Oh, cool. So, yeah. And he decided to draw uh, little faces on these drives here. So I dropped the link to his YouTube channel in the chat. Uh, oops. Sliding around. <laughs> so he's drawing, drew little faces, kind of like emoticons. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Smiley faces, uh, tongue sticking out, smiley faces. Yeah. Mm. So we got that. All right, what should we open next? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me do something else. What you looking for now? Uh, I forgot to give uh, Shay from Red Valkyrie a heads up about this too. Oh. Oh, dang. Who should I open next? Um, let me uh, put off. All right, let's see. So the next one is this one. Oh, this came from Wyatt Holiday. What the? Oh. Any guesses as to what it might be? Uh, that Mars one. I'm drawing a blank on. Oh, uh, oh, uh, something with the moment in it. Yeah, Rocket Gal. Yeah, that's it. Rocket Gal. I can't believe I was blanking on it. So was I, so don't worry. <laughs> Minor dense, and it's only in the crumple zone, so. Yeah. yeah, for the so far, these Gemini mailers have been working perfectly fine mm -hmm. for Comic Skate books. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how well they handle, like, during inclement weather, you know, mm. we go further into winter. Mm. Because I've heard about some books getting uh, uh, some books getting wet, but I've never had any books get wet. That's when you use the Wanger special thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
for sure. All right. Hey, guess what? You're absolutely right. Woo. Rocky Gal, the mole man from Mars. I'm you just guess. that good. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then we got this one, this alternate cover. Nice. I was digging the colors. And uh, let's see on the back side. Uh, literally a back side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. All right, so this. Oh, whoops. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so it comes with a couple prints. Oh, nice. And uh, this looks like, like a conglomeration of all kinds of characters from Comic Scape. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Lilith from Graveyard Shift. You got the Merry Boys. You got Rocket Gal. Uh, you got Cecil from Cash Grab. Oh, my gosh, that looks like Tommy Mark. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Captain Fuckhead. <laughs> so you got some CG UK characters. There's the Merry Boys. Oh, uh, it's further in the back, but you've got, oh my gosh. What? All right, so it's, it's going to be hard to see, but uh, let's see, where, where was it? All right. So you got Cyber Frog, mm -hmm. and he's eating what looks like a bucket of chicken, mm -hmm. but the box, the bucket is labeled Red Rooster. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, goodness. And uh, Ardana's here, th that umbrella guy, and little umbrella girl's there. Uh, Captain Love is there, Six-Gun Gorilla. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then the other, there's another print. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Rocket Gal and her dog. Velusia Victorious. So the, there's a Rocket Gal trading card. Mm. Man, it's getting dark fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got off of work at like 3.15 today. But I didn't finally get started until what? Half an hour ago. Uh, down but not out. <laughs> All right. So trading card number one was the Volusia Victorious. Trading card number two for Rocky Gal is down but not out. The, you can collect a set of forty cards. Man, I wonder how I'm gonna how I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> and are they? Is it literally forty Rocket Gal cards? That's gonna be a curiosity. Yeah. Holy crap! Which one was this? All right. All right. So uh, got a priority mail. Ooh. From, <clears throat> excuse me, Huang Nguyen, uh, N G U Y E N. I think it's pronounced Wen or Nguyen. Mm. Uh, minor dents in the corners. It's uh, a USPS priority mailbox. Mm. Minor damage. Let's see, press firmly, just pretty decent boxes. So which, what's the best way to open these things? Well, it's been a while. Let's see. Um, so on your stream, Fade, mm. what uh, games have you been uh, uh, playing? Are, uh, you, are you playing Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, still. <laughs> How far are you through? Mm, I think I'm still in the first act because I haven't been streaming as much lately. So. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. 
But somehow I've gotten better. I don't understand the process on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're becoming a more lethal and effective assassin. No, I'm just going to write it off as dumb luck there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. I think this uh, is a project that I backed that was that looked really cool. Mm -hmm. I think it was on Indiegogo, but I don't remember if it's even Comicsgate specific mm -hmm. or Comicsgate. Uh, I think it was just one that it, it looked cool enough to back. Mm -hmm. so, uh, this looks like a phone case. Mm-hmm. Huh. What? Carbon gray? Uh. Interesting. Yeah. Mothers of Revolution Volume 3. I don't remember that being the title of something I backed, but I don't remember now. Maybe oh, you drunk okay. ordered it. What is that? I said maybe you drunk ordered it. <laughs> I'm starting. This is starting to look familiar. I just don't remember the name being carbon, carbon gray. Ah. It's, uh, packing material. So it came with prints. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So let's look at this. Wait a minute. That print looked familiar. Where have I seen it? Yeah, that one looked familiar. I'm trying to remember where I saw it, though. Wolverine and Punisher. So, they're, they're like matte finish. It feels sort of like a... Yeah, like a poster card. Yeah. Judge Dredd. Talk about vibrant colors. Mm-hmm. Punisher. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that his vehicle? Was that like a a car? That, oh no, it's just an oncoming car that he. I think he's about to ambush. Yeah. I mean, I think this is the character, uh, the protagonist in this person's book. Hmm. Uh, the artist uh, and creator of this book is known for doing uh, superhero work. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I love Superman and Batman. <clears throat> God, where did I see those poster cards before? Deck of cards. Oh, nice. Man, yeah, I just remember this being a whole. You know what? I think I did. Hmm. I think with this campaign, I might have purchased one of those tiers that was like a uh, a mystery box. Mm -hmm. So they just throw in all kinds of stuff. Mm. That could be. It's kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> On what you can see. Mm -hmm. Got Faust. It's like a lot of badass women characters. And I'm always down for that. Yeah. Mm. Good artwork. That's what uh, drew me to this project. Wow, a bunch of, a bunch of cards. Holy cow! Yeah, you know, mystery box things are pretty fun. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get the option, that, <clears throat> excuse me, the opportunity to get a bunch of random stuff, it's quite exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I heard you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I regret nothing on it, so. Oh, nice. 
The carbon gray action figure. Oh my gosh. Almost looks as creepy as Chucky. <laughs> Maybe a female version of it, though. Uh, so it comes with a stand. It's got a little scratches here and there. I wonder what they're from. Hmm. Uh-oh. She was trying to escape the box. Oh. Oh boy. Now it's I'm... coming a lot coming alive at night. <laughs> yeah, I know. If if I go missing one day, you'll know why. Because of that freaking creepy Chucky doll <laughs> looking yeah. doll. Holy crap. Oh shit. What? Metal militia. That's the name. That's of it. it. That I'm like looking at those. I'm like going, why do those seem familiar? And it's a hard cover. Look how thick this is. Yeah, damn. Isn't that awesome? It wow. is. I think I would I think I reached out to the creator to try and get him on my show, but I don't remember if I ever heard back. Mm. And then there's a uh, Two graphic novels here. Oh, nice. Back to back in one bag. Mm. Uh, Matt and Nui says, who? Uh, now, the Ch Chucky isn't all that creepy. Just corny and stupid. <laughs> I don't know. He can be kind of creepy. The, mm. You know what I found creepy, especially when I was younger? Mm. Uh, I used to watch... Uh, uh, Fantasy Island, right? Mm -hmm. And there was this one story about someone who who wanted to be an uh, awesome ventriloquist. Mm -hmm. And it, it was one of those stories that involved, you know, the ventriloquist dummies coming to life. That was freaking creepy. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? What? So, you might want to other. There we go. Huh. Memories lost, and then the other side says contain her. Zima Precia back reward. I guess hmm. it originally was uh, done on Kickstarter because I think that's a Kickstarter logo. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe. All right, let's open this, and that's the. Last of what's in this box. This is quite a number of goodies. That is. Um, let's see. Yeah, that explains why the prints were so familiar, though. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like thinking on whoa, why do those seem so flipping familiar? <laughs> I don't know if the the artist was formally doing jobs for DC. Hmm. Or, or if it, it was just like fan art mm -hmm. they were selling. All right, so this is a, a postcard. Hmm. Memories lost. I mean, it's blank on the other side, but it's more or less a postcard. Mm -hmm. And then I guess these are uh, what you call uh, ash cans. Oh. Carbon gray soft enough to trace a line on paper hard enough to cut glass hmm. number 538 out of 861 damn so limited edition man look how awesome this is so it shows you side by side the line art versus oh. the finished product and that's cool looking isn't it nice? Wow. Yeah. That is sweet. Talk about detail. Yeah. Really lush. And then this is signed. It looks like it's got at least two signatures. Funded with Kickstarter. All right. Yeah. And this is number 417 out of 502. Oh. I like how detailed, mm -hmm. you know, and informational it is. Man, look at that. I'm a backer. <laughs> oh, and much the same. So you get line art and then 
it's like lush paintings. Hmm. Look at the finished product. Shit. Isn't that cool? It is. And then uh, EP, Extended Play. Hmm. So it's a CD, I guess. Vocals, lyrics, production, instrumentation by April G, a.k.a. Container. Oh. So five songs. And then you got uh, three remixes of, uh, by Container. Hmm. Find more music by Container at Container.com. Dark One remixes released via Cyborg Recordings. Mm. <laughs> April G. Oh, man. So mm. that's the back with the track information. So it's a music CD. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. This is pretty trippy. All right, Wise, I'm going to have to get going. So. All right, I appreciate you hopping yeah. on. Yeah. It was Thanks fun. For I'll check you later. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate it. I've got like three more packages today. Oh, well, have fun with those. Will do. Will do. All right. See ya. All right. Bye bye. Oh, you know what? I just remembered someone else I forgot to give a heads up to. So let me see here. Oh. All right. Give her a heads up. Okay. Where should I, which one should I do next? All right. So I'm going to do this one, I think, because, let me see here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to open this one. This, uh, this kit was sent by... Uh, this was sent by Shay Zombie, a.k.a. Shay, a.k.a. Red Valkyrie. And you will soon find out why. So it was boxed by the UPS store. So let's pop this bad boy open. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I did remember to do that, didn't I? Doop -a -doop -a -doop -pop, doop -pop, doop -pop. Yeah, I did. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, packing material, packing material. So we got this bubble wrap stuff. <laughs> yep, it is what I thought it was. So, oh my gosh, now I'm blanking on. Now I'm blanking out on what campaign it was associated with. Okay, I can't believe I blanked out. So, every once in a while, the planets align and you get an opportunity to, uh, to back a campaign and there's a tier there was some, uh, every once in a blue moon, there will be a tier whereby Red Valkyrie or Shea has contributed to the campaign and has created something cosplay related. This is one such case. And when that happens, it... Uh, you know, it's a one-of-a-kind piece. So that's why I figured I'd take the opportunity to get it. So I backed it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Check that out. Oh, my gosh. So... Uh, I'm going to sound really horrible because I am having trouble remembering what campaign it was from. Oh my gosh, she took the time to, whoa. Oh, it's even got her signature in there. Oh, that is so nice. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But uh, hold on, I wonder, maybe I can do this. Uh, here we are. So it's got a signature in it. And look over here. Oh, jeez, I just blinded myself. You got the stitching, right? You see that stitching? Well, check this out. Bam. That's the stitching that you saw the inside. Uh, that you saw inside. So she actually took the time to stitch thread into it, which is sweet. And, you know, it's attention to detail. And uh, obviously it's a real feather. And I don't know what she used to make the little bones around the rim or the perimeter. But look at that, look at all this detail. Man, I'm tripping out at the stitching. <laughs> Cause it's like, I mean, I thought at first that it was going to be like, uh, like uh, chalk, you know, <laughs> using chalk to draw the stitching. But, you know, if you're going to put effort into cosplay, you want to put in the effort in. So that's pretty sweet. Look at that. This is cool. So, when uh, one of these days when I have a house again, 
this can be part of uh, my comics gate shrine wow man i oh man how cool is that how cool is that i say okay so let's see i don't no, no. it looks like everyone is busy this time of night they're probably all heading over to shea stream that she's uh gonna have um let me see Beedy, 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 beedy. Who do we do now? All right. So here's the next one. We got two more total. Look how big this one is. Woo, handle with care. This almost seems like a, it almost seems like a gigantic version of a Gemini mailer. Except it's got very little in the way of crumple zone. Because look at it, it's right up to the end. Interesting packaging. Uh, minor denting here and there. But so far I'm not really concerned because it looks like it is probably going to be in good shape. At least I hope so. Wow. Look at this gash. Not sure what that was from. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like her signing it or if someone was testing out their ballpoint pen and it wasn't letting ink out or something. So this came for via Royal Mail. Great Britain from Anis Eskander. It's a box full of goodies. Box full of goodies. Oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Giant. Oh, wait. I right, so. I don't think I've opened this type of package before. I've opened stuff from Royal Mail before, but. Oh, what? All right. All right. There's a strip of adhesive over here. So, I. I cut the tape uh, and kind of followed the lines of the cardboard. Let's see, how does this work? Man, it sure reminds me of uh, Gemini Miller. Let's uh, cut these right here and here. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Holy moly. All right, so. Oing, 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 oing. Oh. Interesting. Whoa. All right, so how do I, how should I pull? All right, so. Mm hmm 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 where are we? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> the uh, the adhesive strip grabbed a piece of this uh, tissue paper and tore it. All right, so, oh man, where do I put this? Where do I put this? Good gully. All right. All right, so, whoop. I just tore the tissue paper. All right, anyway. Ooh. All right, so again, this is from Honest Eskender. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That tissue paper is intact. Ooh uh, 
drawstring bag. So this book, Ava, looks pretty trippy. It, it's like it, rem, it gives me serious uh, uh, Eon Flux vibe, vibes. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why it's that way. So it's printed sideways. Like this is the way you seal the package. Hi, Johnny Rando. Happy Friday to you too. Thanks for popping in. So I'm opening Anna Eskender's. Oh, all right. Well, actually, maybe maybe it's not really sideways. Well, by having the image this way, the the main character's face is right side up, and then the lettering is just up and down. Well. That works. That works. So it's a drawstring bag. Sweet. And as it turns out, I backed her. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Did I back it this many times? So I have another drawstring bag. So it looks like what happened. And I think she also told me she would do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. To save on shipping costs, uh, she put all my backings in one box. So I've actually I actually ended up with three drawstring bags. I wonder if I should frame it or something. I don't know. I mean, I typically don't use drawstring bags. I use them on and off, but I rarely use them. So I wonder if I should frame them or something. Um, all right. So then after that, they're all uh, nicely folded and wrapped in tissue paper. And then there are these boards in bubble wrap. Man, she did a pretty dang good job with boxing and bagging all this stuff. So let's see here. So we'll open this one. Wow. Uh, interesting. So it's like I think every backing tier. Oh, all right. So these are actually little uh, bubble wrap pouches, and I accidentally ripped a little as I was trying to pull everything out at once. Okay, so holy shit. Wow. So, all right, so cardboard backing and then original page art. I think it was randomized uh, what you ended up with. Uh, like, I think the, the pages were, wow, that's cool. I could be wrong. I, th I think that's what, how it ended up working. That's so cool. Man, love the hair. Um, so it was like, I think it was just random in random order is all I'm trying to get to. All right, so there was that. And then the books themselves. All right, hold on. Ava issue one, mainframe is watching, Ava character concept, avacomic.com, copyright 2020, honest, Eskender, all rights reserved. Oops, all right. So the little cards popped and uh, broke the very bottom of this bag here. 
Well, all this stuff in uh, how do I do this? How do I keep organize? Good golly, almighty! All right, so this is in a, a sleeve here. So that's copyright information. Does that mean? All right, so oh, took it out of this sleeve. Oh, jeez, this is so cool, man! All right, so we got a print. I can't remember if all of these are going to be the same. You know, for all this stuff I backed. Whoa! All right, so there's this cover. This is the actual book. Man. So the interior art. And then this, I think, is the original, whoop, the original cover. And then we've got postcards. Anas Eskender and Timothy Green the second. Where's page three? Where's that? Hey, people, how's it going? Hey, wise guys, how's things? All right. Good. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Man, I, I just uh, look. I'm looking through YouTube, and I found you doing an opening stream. I can't stay long in here because, like, it's it's late. What is it? Uh, yeah, so uh, it's one o'clock. But man, I love yeah. these streams. I, I I I love. It's like Christmas Day when you open these stuff. It's good. I know. Yeah, <laughs> freaking amazing stuff too. Oh yeah, yeah. I got my Ava. Um, uh, day before yesterday. Did you really? And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't opened it. Uh, well, I've opened it, but I've not opened the uh, actual book yet. Oh. Like, um, it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So this is uh, a part, to, a specific page, and then it's got information on the back. Yeah, regarding yeah. Where you'll find it. Page eight. I love Imperium Laboratories. That packaging is nice, isn't it? The nice um, uh, envelopes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she did a good job. I'm, I'm yeah. quite pleased. Yeah, very neat and tidy, isn't it? It. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, it's like organized. <laughs> <laughs> do you see the? Well, I'll show it again later when I do the recap. But <clears throat> uh, in one of my backings, I got an original art page. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, that's cool. It's always nice. Uh, original art is um, is something else, isn't it? Yeah. And it's an action scene, too. Yeah, yeah. Which I dig. Yeah, and cool. uh, I don't know if uh, when you came in on the stream, but... Uh, I, I, I literally am I'm winding down, ready for bed in about... It's one o'clock in the morning here, so I'm, 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 I'm going to go to bed in a, like a couple of minutes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> but but, but I'll, 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 I'll just... I'll, I'll watch this for a bit in bed because, like, you know, it's good to... Um, yeah, like I said, it's like Christmas Day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, you know, other people could say that, uh, you know... If you're watching from bed, it, it, uh, my streams can help you put help put you to sleep. <laughs> I love these shows. I love the fact that you can just uh, honestly. I, I watch these when I when I do work uh -huh. a lot. Um, sometimes you know I'm, I'm in the stream, but I might not be um, commenting. But like 
right, it's right. Perfect. It, it, it's perfect. Like it's encouraging because you see other people uh, delivering things. So you're like, oh man, I got to do this, got to do that. Oh yeah, and, uh, sure. Yeah, it's great to watch when you're working, and it's chill. Oh, most absolutely. Yeah, the chillest channel on YouTube. It's got to be. Uh, Eric McIntyre, welcome. Nice, who drew that? Yeah, it's um, the artist that Anas Eskender is working with, Timothy Green the second. He worked on like Aeon Flux, didn't he as well? Did he? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I think I heard us say that in interviews. Yeah, man. I, yeah, and boxing's the best. Just like these are great. This is this is the show with uh, the results. And you get like a, like you know, just like just like me, like an everyday kind of person uh -huh. moving in stuff. And you see that, and it's, there's no, no drama, no nothing, and it's just, it's it's all the good stuff in CG. I love oh, it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he, he, Johnny Rando uh, specifically points out that Wise Guys unboxings are the best in CG. <laughs> they are. They are, man. They are. I'm looking forward to sending them. Um, uh, I, I remember you said when you you you, you um uh, did you got my phantom on the stream when I when I was on with you a while back, and I, I can't wait to send you it. Oh man, did you get a chance to watch the replay of that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched yeah. it back again. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so I got another one of these. I, I, I think I backed her campaign like three times. Oh, so she so got like a, a, a an A4 version, like an oversized. Uh, well, this is a print. All right. And then this is a book with two different covers, uh, original nice. and variant. And yeah. then uh, you got postcards. So cool. uh, let me see. Since you're only here briefly, I'll recap. So this is gorgeous, man. Uh, let's yeah, see. nice. Yeah, there's supposed to be originals, and it looks like they are when you uh, uh, hold it up to the light. Hi, Carla. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, White Cat Comics. <laughs> hey. Hey, Jason Black. How's it going? Good to have you all. Uh, this is Anas Eskander and uh, Timothy Green II. Check nice. that out. Look at that print. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice quality. There's a, a, a real um, a finesse to that project, isn't it? And, and the delivery as well. Yeah, cool. Two different covers. And then the backside looks like this. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of <laughs> muted or whatever, uh, and yeah, it's, like, it's very smooth. It's kind of like a matte finish. Yeah, really sweet. And as I yeah. mentioned, uh, I backed it like three times. I, I don't remember if it's supposed to be up, her upside down or what, but I think, I think she the character is uh there's the word zap scene zap nice uh, <laughs> eric mcintyre says white and black enter the chat coincidence <laughs> <laughs> jason black and white cat comics oh my gosh that's a trip <laughs> Uh, Jason Black almost said the same thing at the same time. <laughs> uh, it, it seems the stars have aligned. They do. Uh, and these are like postcards. And what's nice? Uh, yeah. You've nice got that. That's the page you've got, isn't it? As well, that that image is you've got the original art of that, haven't you? Oh my gosh! Yeah. I don't know why I didn't connect the dots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so absurd. It is. Yeah, nice. Nice one. Oh, oh my gosh, what a trip. That's cool. That's cool how it worked out, yeah. And then uh, there are two more prints. Uh, 
And then this is from a, a page in the book. Uh, do you know what? That's good. That's a really good idea to to make a print of the page from the book. Yeah, this is from I'm page gonna, eighteen, Imperium Laboratories. I'm going to make cool. notes of that. That is that is a really good idea. Yeah, I like it that. It is. It is. Uh, I think more uh, creators should consider doing stuff like that. Uh, there was something that uh, I heard about that I didn't realize they even did, but you know, like. Uh, old classic Marvel comic posters and stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, like people don't typically have a whole lot of room and space for full size posters. Yeah, so yeah. what they did is they took like classic comic book covers and put them on postcard size prints or, and uh, yes. so you can hang those on your wall and have lots and lots of, Coverage. I, I, uh, that, that, I like that. I, I, I like I like small stuff. Do you know yeah. like um? Do you know Do you know like uh? It used to be for a while anyway. Like uh, mobile phones. Got, oh, look at that! You got another page. Yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, uh, on one hand, uh, with it being honest, honest's first campaign, uh. She kind of uh, messed up and underestimated the cost of shipping. Right. But that was uh, that was like a boon to whoever backs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, but like uh, the people who've got like like you who've got these things the next time around, when it gets more popular, that means that goes up in value and. That makes you a better supporter of the project in the future, doesn't it? It's an investment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I totally love her uh, her project, her campaign, and I definitely wanted to be there to support her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she seems nice as well. I remember she was on with Mark, and uh, yeah. she was on with you as well. Yep, yep, right. yep. Good memory. Yeah. definitely did have her on my show. Um, I don't know if it's just the manufacturer of these bags. This is my third set, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, on the first two, uh, I guess it was the, the postcards that kind of broke through. So there's small length of uh, breakage in the very bottom edge. All right. But I everything is still in, in shape, in tip-top shape. That's good. That's all that matters, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. That's the way I look at it. Forgot to show you this. Oh, wow. It's a tote. Oh, cool. That, that's nice. It's a string cup. Yeah, it's a trip. I think it was that's a cute a... idea. I mean, I personally don't use uh, drawstring totes anymore. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out, do I frame it or what? I, I, I'd hang on to it. Uh, or just do you know I, I don't know part of me is like i like to hang on and keep stuff but I, oh you got th you got three pages yeah <laughs> crazy yeah wow uh let's see here white cat comic says it's magic <laughs> oh <laughs> wow fantastic so cool you got to put the postcard and the original art in the same picture frame that's an excellent idea yes that's an excellent uh, idea yeah. Uh, hi, Tatsunami. Welcome. Good to have you here. Good to have you all here, actually. Uh, for a while, that was. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, there he goes. But I, I thought he got struck by lightning then. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Um, the, the, the weird thing is that the, the, that weird effect was like VHS. <laughs> that or, uh, or like uh, a scene from the Outer Limits, that old TV series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where, you know, do not adjust the vertical, do not adjust the horizontal. Yeah, okay. yeah. That was cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Series like the Outer Limits, you know, it brings me back to when I used to watch. Look at all this freaking detail, man. I know. That's detail. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice. 
I mean, you got you got a good bundle of shit there. Like yeah, a, not sure. shit, but like a, obviously good stuff. But you know what I mean. It's a, I, a good, a good man. What a haul. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. <Bradford, laughs> oh, good ear, Tatsunami. It is indeed. It is. Yes. One of the only people circus. Yeah, I, I love this channel. It's great. Please do a museum mount when you map those pages. Don't let them stick into foam core. Oh, yeah. I, I'm i into uh, foam core. Hmm. I'm not very familiar with foam core. I was thinking if what I I might do is uh, do that framing where you have that, uh, what is it, a map board in front of it in, uh, in the foreground, and then you have a beveled edge on it. I don't know. Yes. Something like yeah, that. You, you get a good, you can, you can buy the cutters that these things that you can sort of cut the board uh, at, at, at a foot. It's usually a 45 degree angle, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, a number of original pieces that I have to be very careful with because I don't want to yeah. get a bit of crap. Um, you've, got th you've got three just on this show alone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you ever, if you had a chance to catch it, but I was once on uh, one of Dan Frega's streams, and it just oh, so happened. Yes. Uh, I, I, I came across it by accident, and I saw in his subject line, Masters of the Universe, auction. And I was yeah. like, what the frick? I, yes. I'm an 80s kid, right? So I watched all kinds of 80s cartoons after school. And Masters yeah. of the Universe was one of my favorites, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched this auction not expecting to participate. And then before you know it, I, I go crazy. <laughs> one and thing the, leads to another. <laughs> and, yeah, one thing leads to another. And <laughs> it all, it's like I end up with four or five original art pieces from Dan Praga, who did yeah. Masters of the Multiverse. He like not only that, I think Dan Fraga penciled all them pages, but you also got Richard Friend who did the inks as well. Yeah, yeah. And Richard Friend has got a he. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted. I'm just reading. <laughs> but yeah, 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 man, that's an I mean, nice to see, see you as well. But like uh, the fucking uh, uh, Fraga, Fraga. And Richard Friend, who's um, who's got Blaster Kid um, uh, on the way as well recently, as well, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was interviewing Kel uh, Richard Friend was interviewing Kelsey uh, Shannon Kel as well. Was he? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. He was about that? He's coloring Blaster Kid, Kelsey. Uh, he really? Oh, look, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is. Oh, actually, I already showed this, didn't I? The one with all the wicked detail, of the yeah, nice. Stuff. Mm. I, I was trying, I was trying to do one of those challenges where you draw something new every day. And <laughs> one of my drawings, I decided to tackle buildings, right? And I was oh, yeah. using one point perspective, and then yeah, as soon as I got like 10, 15 minutes into it, I started getting bored. <laughs> and, and <laughs> it was like, ah. I have to draw these windows now. What the hell? <laughs> right, man, do what I do because I'm like that. I like I, I like drawing and painting and stuff, but I I, I hate the um, how can you describe it? A um, it, it's like architect architectural drawing or mm -hmm. um, that kind of stuff. You know, when you got to bring the ruler out, that's fine. I don't mind drawing a few straight lines, but when I have to have that ruler and and it, it, it all of a sudden it's in, in, in it's it, it's putting rules on my drawing, not uh, literally. <laughs> you know, I can't deal with that. I, I just want to bring a, a brush out and just go like fuck it, just <laughs> splash a load of stuff all over it. Yeah, really. And it fe it feels better and it, and it has the energy. I think too many straight lines will detract from the energy from something yeah so so go I, go for it just I, go for it yeah i showed you that uh wicked detail hold on how does this work i don't i don't 
Oh, it is. Wait. It's a little smaller. How, do, how on earth does that work? Was it cut to the wrong size or something? Wrong di dimensions or something? Because I've got this. This is part of the yeah. same package here. Yeah. Look at all the lines, man. Look at all the look at that building. Gee. It's crazy. So clean as well. Yeah, very, very clean. You know, when I was when I was doing um, when I, I was uh, in I, I was in a uh, an associates program, a technical program, technical degree program. Mm -hmm. where I was studying electronics, and one of the prereqs was like. Uh, drafting and stuff right yeah yeah um uh, and it's uh and when you're doing drawing uh mechanical drawings and uh like three-quarter perspective and uh using rulers and even when it yeah. comes to lettering you have to draw your guidelines yes yeah, yeah. precisely in this fashion so it's easily readable no matter who is reading the uh, schematic or diagram or uh you know we used to draw on vellum it's like vellum. To, well or schematics were printed on vellum i guess right um but actually we did draw on vellum didn't we what is vellum i i i'm i'm going like yeah oh, yeah yeah vellum like it, i know what i'm talking about i have it, no idea <laughs> it, it's like this certain material uh how do you describe it? It's almost it's like, like acetate. Writing on, it's almost like writing on paper, but it's got like a, I want to describe wow. it as like yellowish, greenish tint to it, or bluish. Well, all right. Is it waxy? A little bit, yeah, a little right. bit. Um, and then I got a a sketch. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like I like the um, this, use of space there as well. On uh, a square piece of paper, roughly. I think it's a square. It looks like a square. Yeah, so I guess I backed it like three times. Backed her campaign. I don't know if it's still in demand or not. If it is, I might back it again. Uh, yeah, some nice stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah, very much so. Uh, I really like the... Uh, uh, mailers she sent him in and, and like how it, it was like very minimalistic yeah it sort of reminded me of a giant Gemini mailer <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it came from the UK so it came via royal mail great oh, good, good old royal mail I tell you what they do all right yeah yeah absolutely uh, Eric McIntyre excuse me uh, says I remember that auction I tried to get the page with Skeletor and got outbid. My soul was crushed, but my baby <laughs> I know. I, bet. I know. I tried to justify and reason with myself by saying, you know, this stuff normally would go for five, six hundred dollars or more. Mm. Uh, and uh, a lot of these pieces were uh, stopping around three fifty. I, 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 yeah, I think. I think it's a good investment because, like I said, you got Dan Fragger on there doing mm. pencils, and and like already he's he's doing pretty well, and it's going to be bigger. Yeah. And also you got and Richard Friend doing the inks, and yeah. He's, yeah. his YouTube is getting bigger. I know. Um, Have you seen the he, growth? I mean, uh, so he had his original channel, and then YouTube struck it for no freaking reason. Yeah, and I think he's still waiting till this to this day for an explanation, a reason why they did it. Uh, I think there's a little bit of progress made, and there might be still a chance. Copyright. Yeah. It there. Uh, but in the meantime, when his channel got struck, then uh, the stream that was in progress kind of carried over to uh, Red Valkyries, you know, Shay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, that was a real entertaining stream. And then uh, it it kind of got us all riled up and, you know, it prompted us to push to have his backup account, his backup YouTube channel. 
Yes, it got uh, monetized then, didn't it? We, yeah. we boosted it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, a lot of us uh, got together and, you know, really pushed to get him re-monetized. And it worked out pretty well, all in all. We mobile. Yeah, and I, I, I would say, Wise Guys, you, you got a, uh, a, do you have a backup channel? I, I, not technically. I mean, I have what I'm calling Wise Guys Entertainment Live. Where that's I'm right. Gonna, that's another channel. That's fine. That's where I'm going to start res, uh, uploading uh, predominantly my streams because it YouTube out YouTube's algorithms don't like when you're doing nothing but streams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they like uploaded videos. They they give a preference to uploaded videos. So eight eight to twelve minutes long. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, yeah, make, uh, as long as you've got that one, that's fine. Because if they do something to this one, you've got something else to um to have a voice. So for sure, yeah. yeah I, I I I've done the same. I've got I've got another one, um, for my channel as well, just in case. But it's always a good idea. Two channels minimum, minimum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and I, I'm I'm exploring, tossing around the idea of, you know, backing up the other channels as well like some creators or many creators are doing uh, yeah. some of the interfaces on these other channels i don't really like <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. people are starting to like upload to bit shoot and other alternatives uh, yeah uh, too much yeah i know what you mean it, it's like it, i'm pretty bad as it is i have so many different social media accounts i mean there, there is I, I know that, uh, like, like you, I can't be, I can't be fucked. Sorry, I've got a filthy mouth. Sorry. Most of, um, I think most of these things have a thing where you can, you upload to one and you can upload them to a mold, you know, in a, in a right. single thing. I can't be bothered with that. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of why I use stream yours because it, it, when I do a live stream, it goes to Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Twitch. Yeah. Um, it, it supports Periscope, but Periscope is weird because, you know, anytime know, you're yeah. trying to spread the word and, like, like, every now and then I'll share a link or something, then yeah. Periscope has a tendency to view virtually everything I say as spam. So they've suspended my <laughs> <COVID now. laughs> so I have reached out to them to uh, try and unsuspend myself, but I, I almost don't know if it's even worth it, considering they're so they're so sensitive. I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny Rando says I'm a sucker for motorcycles and comics, and Eric yeah. says I like City of Rock, Johnny. Uh, I, I like bike. I like um, my main one is uh, Judge Dredd's bike. I, I love that. The big, massive, chunky wheels. Oh my gosh, that is chunky. That's huge. I I I I really dig uh, Akira's motorcycle. Oh yes, yeah, same kind of thing. And I, uh, which come first, do you think, Akira's chunky bike wheels or 2000 AD's Judge Dredd? Oh dear, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not good about timelines and who came first. <laughs> same, same uh, but you I know, when it comes to chunky bikes, uh, were you ever into Macross, you know, Robotech? Robotech? Ah, God, that rings a bell now, yeah. Because uh, it was, I think it was considered second uh geez i want to say third generation third right. generation robotech uh macross uh well macross was more or less uh the veritech fighters where you had jet fighters like i think they were based off of f-15s right. uh, but they transformed into robots right giant robots and yeah. the giant robots were manned by humans and you know alien life forms that were humanoid uh, but then you had the next generation, which I think were vehicles that connected together and turned into 
giant robots. Yeah, yeah. But then there was a generation of like humanoids that rode motorcycles, these heavily armored motorcycles, chunky motorcycles that were really trippy. But then their motorcycles transformed into their battle armor. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. And I really like those. I used to have a toy of one of those, but I think I sold it. <laughs> I wish I still had it, but I, I played with it so much that parts of it were really loose. Like the, yeah, I know. The <laughs> leg and the hips. So yeah. I couldn't get them to stand up straight anymore. <laughs> but it was so yeah. damn cool because it literally, the motorcycle literally did allow you to transform it into its body armor it was yeah. cool it was so cool that's awesome i, I, I love robots you yeah know? me too Robot, bikes robots and like like you said like anything like these kind of words like robot humanoid android all this kind of shit i love it yeah seriously uh but yeah, yeah, yeah Go ahead. I, I, I've I've got a head off, man. I I only oh. wanted to jump in because I saw you there, and I thought, man, I love this show. I'm gonna jump on for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh damn! I but, appreciate it so much. I, yeah, I love when it's, I have I love when I have guests on the panel. Um, yeah, I I see you, I, I see you on like a lot, and like I feel I have guilt because I'm like <laughs> I I'm not jumping on because I'm just like selfishly just like listening and drawing. No. And, uh, yeah. You do it whatever you like. I mean, I, I welcome participation. I, I welcome people hanging in, but, uh, you know, coming on the panel. But if if you like chilling and uh, just uh, uh, doing your own thing and listening in, that's just as good. That's just as yeah, good. And as, I, th I think uh, there's a lot of people out there in CG who, who are catching on to this. And, uh, yeah, keep doing, keep doing what you're doing. I love it. So like, keep doing it, man. It's great stuff. And um, yeah, it's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So oh, yeah, I, I, it, it's it's half past one in the morning here in 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 Wales, in uh, in Bridgend in Wales, South Wales. Oh and, my um, god! Yeah, it's seriously. Yeah, it's late over there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. But, uh, I, w I want to, yeah, eventually I'd like to get to the point at which I can uh, have a lot more guests because my StreamYards subscription, I have the, ba I downgraded to basic because yeah. it better suits my needs. Yeah, from, why not? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, it supports up to nine guests. So one of these yeah. days, uh, uh, hopefully I'll have nine guests so we can all talk at the same time <laughs> oh, that, that would that, that would be great um i know uh, like we've we've chatted in, in in a bunch of us in cg uk we we, we all we, like we all watch your show we, we all you know we you know like us as well and uh but yeah as a bunch of us i'd like to like have a little stream somehow we got to work her out it's yeah, um yeah everybody everybody's busy man like i, I know I, crazy i i love cg uk um uh, and uh Oh shoot! The speaking of which, did you see the Twitter announcement that? Uh, oh wait, you're part of it, aren't you? <laughs> you What's that? Uh, Mandy Summers and yes, and uh, Charlie's London. Yeah, and I think you and Six AM Comics and Peter Gilmore, uh, yeah. and maybe one or two other people are doing this big old. It's like a a talk show on Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. Yes, I think it's going to be a, um, a, it's like a variety uh, show. A, essentially, yeah, like a variety show. It's going to be a whole bunch of stuff. So it's not like just do not get one subject and you go on for an hour. It's going to be uh, a theme, but like a whole bunch of things happening. So it's uh, yeah, like a show, like a, like a proper show. So um, yeah, it should be cool. Man, I'm going to jump on there for a bit, and um, yeah, it should be good. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's an awesome idea. 
and I'm hoping to be able to make it to that because that would be a trip. Oh yeah, should be should be good fun. I, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah which is <laughs> which is why I've got to get some sleep, man. Like oh, half, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Eric. I think it was called the cyclone. Cyclone. Uh, that's another good word, isn't it? Cyclone. Um, Johnny Randa has been to Wales Festival oh, number sweet. two, Port Marion. Port Marion. Filled. Oh man, Port Marion. That's where the um, uh, the what do you call it was filmed? Um, filmed the Prisoner. Oh really? You know, the, yeah, it's a, it's a real. Uh, you you got to look that place up. Like like you see in the in the series, it, it's like that. It looks it's it's man. I haven't been there yet, but I gotta go there. Yeah, wow. looks great. Crazy um, place, mental. So, is festival number six the name of a, a music concert, or is that just part of? Uh, uh, I don't know. I what? don't know. But when I saw Pope, Pope Marion, uh, uh, like uh, immediately, the first thing you think of is a prisoner. Because the thing is, that area was already like like it is in the prisoner. They didn't make the sets. That's just. I think that's just what it was like. Huh. Okay. Yeah. I watched a few episodes. It's on YouTube. Yeah. I was, yeah. you know, I thought it's, it was a trippy series. I was wondering if one day I might buy the series on DVD. I think it's available. Yeah, I need to watch it all. The, the thing is, it the, like everybody, for, for me, but the biggest thing is like Iron Maiden because of the, the song, uh, The Prisoner. <laughs> you know, you get the start, who are you? I am number two. Oh, I'm number one. Who is number one? <laughs> I am not a prisoner. I'm a free man. Prison. Yeah, and then the, the drums kick in. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> uh, it. Eric says, oh, I went to a comic shop today after work and was able to get a newsstand copy of Spawn Issue 2. Sweet. Dang. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, I, I'm curious, Eric, was, let's see. Felt like I found a small flake of gold. Oh my gosh, I bet. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Wow, spawn number two. Damn. Music you... festival. Oh, imagine that, a music festival at Pope Marion. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Right on. That, that, oh, man. Uh, yeah, that must be fucking brilliant. Yeah. What a trip. Sounds amazing. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, Hey, uh, Pete, I know you uh, have to get going. Uh, yes. Can you take a moment and uh, share how people can find you on social media? And, and is your uh, Indiegogo campaign, The Phantom, still in demand? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still up and running. Um, and um, I'm, I'm essentially just like I'm getting a bunch of stuff together. Uh, extra. There's a lot of extras I'm giving people um, – uh, like uh, I'm making individual badges, uh, buttons for Americans. Yeah. And yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm I'm putting together at the moment, ready for delivery. So I've got the books, I've got the prints, I've got one of the zines. I'm waiting for one of the zines to turn up, and I'm also waiting for the hundred-page special edition. Um, to turn up, which there's only 20 of those, so hopefully everything will come together by Halloween, and everyone will have it by then, but it's it's hard to tell at the moment, because I, I live in South Wales and we're on a lockdown here at the moment, no. and there's a lot of lockdowns in the UK, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but either way, I'm, I'm, I'm plodding on, and everything's coming together. Excuse me. Were you... Uh... I might have asked this already. Were you planning on like adding anything uh, while it's in demand, like adding like some more expensive tiers? Uh, may, may, maybe, but um, I, I've, I've got a few ideas. But what I'd like to do is, w once this has been delivered, I've I've got another project on the go, which I'm looking to get back onto soon, mm -hmm. All which right. is a which is a comic. So I think I'd rather push on to the future. Oh, nice! And and, uh, and make this comic, but I will, I will be adding certain things. Um, that, that I, uh, yeah, I, I've got a, uh, I've got some things um, adding to certain people. Like um, the people who bought original art, mm -hmm. will get a um, 
uh, like a thank you card, which is in itself an original art, um, hand drawn card. Wow. Hand, uh, it's painted on as well. And I think you'll get a book, you, you also get a bookmark, which mm. is handmade. All right. Like I oh. said, a, a button. I'm, I'm going all out on delivering to people wow. who bought certain things. So, um, but everybody, everybody gets like a, a button badge that I've made. That I, I, I've got a, um, a thing where I can make my own badges, buttons. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I think I used yeah, to yeah. have one of those myself when I was a kid. Uh, they, they're awesome. Like clunk, clunk, making these <laughs> fucking things. It's brilliant. For but sure. um, I, I'll put a video out on the weekend where I, I show you making me, uh, I show you me making one of these badges where um, I draw. I draw from scratch and then oh, make right. it. Oh my, so, that would be a yeah. trip. Yeah, oh. it'd be cool. But um, uh, yeah. So how can it, uh, people find you on social media? Uh, people Circus on Twitter and YouTube. Um, every, everything's, do you know what? I'm a bit quiet on there at the moment because I'm like really busy. I would rather be quiet and get on with this stuff that I can give to the people who, that backed than, than be wasting time on twitter at the moment so i'll get oh. back onto it soon but in the meantime for the next four or five weeks i'm going to be busy getting stuff out there to people who backed so like should be cool right on right on okay awesome but uh, yeah man really great to be on here with you man like uh keep doing what you're doing this is good stuff always a pleasure always a pleasure <laughs> you too man I yeah. i'll catch you soon Take it easy and get some rest. Uh, 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 yeah. like I said, I, I, I'll try my darndest to catch that show live because it sounds pretty exciting. Yes, tomorrow. It, uh, it should be good fun. Yeah, for sure. See you later, See you later right. wise guys. See, See you in the chat. Thanks Bye. again. Bye. All right. So now we've got <clears> – I don't know if you're still on uh, White Cat Comics. But if you are, you're welcome to well, any of you guys in chat uh, that I recognize. You're definitely walk, more than welcome to hop on in if you're interested. Uh, but I was going to ask again. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mat Matanui. Bye, Hal 9000. <laughs> that's, a, that's a trip. His voice does sound a little like Hal, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, what a trip! Can you imagine uh, if he did a voiceover and he he did a voiceover for Hal? Uh, <clears throat> White Cat Comics, if you're still on, you know, if you want, you can hop on because this final package, package eight of eight for today is from Mr. and Mrs. Carla, I mean, John and Carla of White Cat Comics. And as we can see, this wasn't going to go anywhere. We've got duct tape. The personal touch. Uh, duct tape is... Or everything. If you're ever in a pinch, if your life is on the line, make sure you got duct tape at hand. So that's. Uh, if you ever need a, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Uh, duct tape solves everything. Yep. So it cannot be defeated. Yeah, true. Um, and. You'd think by now uh, duct tape would have cured uh, world hunger and achieved world pe uh, peace. But I'm not sure what the holdup is. You'd think duct tape would have solved all that by now. So this is the resulting duct tape. So if you, by chance, are in, find yourself in a pickle, and you've got, you know, a piece of bubble gum, a paper clip, some duct tape, 
and some dish soap, you should be able to find uh, a way to escape your predicament. Uh, solid wrap on that parcel, very important. Yep. You don't want to go in anywhere. All right, so it's been removed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. I don't know. This might be like a generic type of mailer. So this is kind of like a... What is this, foam? It's like a foamy material. It, it, it seems like a material that you cut to size, whatever your needs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. White Cat Comics, if you are still here, let me know. Let me know. It's quite possible you had to head out and got busy as well. Whoa, check this out. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So it looks like there's a little poster. And is this held in with tape? I guess it is. At first, I don't know uh, if any of you are familiar, but it used to be like in the 80s when I used to get posters, it became popular to use. It was kind of like a, like a cellophane, a plastic wrap. So it would wrap around and it would be like oversized, you know, bigger than the, the poster you were wrapping. And then you flatten where the two ends meet and then you fold it over. And it was literally held in place by what felt like plastic wrap. It was a trip. It was kind of cool, actually. You know, so you didn't have to use things like tape, uh, scotch tape and whatnot. All right, so I got one of them. Oh, actually, there's three pieces. All right, so. So welcome to the... ASMR portion of the video of the stream where we carefully and quietly remove. Oh, shoot. I screwed it. I, I tore off a little bitty piece of the back of the poster. Darn it. I wasn't as careful as I should have been. Sometimes when you're removing tape from paper products, you got to do it from different angles. You can't do it all from one angle, one direction. You get it started from one corner. Oh, shoot. You know, I guess I technically could have tried. The other thing you could do if you got, if you're trying to open up a poster and it's got, scotch tape on it the other thing you could do if you wanted is if you didn't really mind having leaving the tape on you could just take a knife to where the poster overlaps on itself and just leave the different pieces of scotch tape on all right looks like i finally got it It's very ASMR, aside from the swearing. <laughs> uh, ooh, all right. So you got a post. Uh, I don't know what the dimensions on this are, but it's definitely taller than a comic book. Sweet. I got to put some weights on this to flatten this baby out. So, for the time being, I'll just set that there. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, as some 
may have guessed this is from white cat comics it's actually the grim reaper project the grim reaper campaign and i forget what size this is considered is it uh is it what they call a3 i keep forgetting <clears throat> if the lower the number the bigger the dimensions or the smaller the number the bigger the dimensions but on this one we're easily looking at eight and a third inches by 11 inches is that eight and a half oh it is eight and a half all right eight and a half by 11. beautiful peanut yep or peanut 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 uh only way that could get more revealing would be if they just straight took it off <laughs> yeah that's a good point speaking of which let me check yeah so far youtube still has left my channel up by stream okay wait what's what's this beep 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 uh, hold on just a sec. Let me, I'm trying to figure out something. Huh. Okay. Um, I, I was checking out my live Twitch stream and I saw a, a whisper, like a chat, but it was it wasn't at all related to this stream. It was back from a, some other stream that I caught with uh, Gina Carano, uh, the actress who plays uh, Mara Dune in the uh, series um, The Mandalorian. On, it's on Disney Plus, isn't it? Wow, this is like a full, like a giant size manga. I think this is like, uh, this was supposed to be like a backstory. The Curse of the Medallion. All right, yeah, that's right. She's uh, biting on a medallion. And then, that's a nice glowy effect. And then we got that back image. That's pretty sweet. All right, so that's that. Oh, damn. This is so, so, so cool looking. All right, so it's a stapled book. The Grim Reaper 2. Uh, you know what? Let me... Wow, this, this feels kind of thick, too. Wow, all shiny and everything. So shiny and smooth. Oh, wow, how cool is it? Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. I like this version of their logo, White Cat Comics. But what's interesting, when I was staring at, all right, so you can obviously, well, I don't know if you can see it with the quality of my camera, but this is a cat who's facing forward because you can see the pink of the ears. And you probably can't see it on my blurry camera since. It only goes as far as 640 by 480. But you can see the the front legs of the cat, but you can't see any face, which is curious. You don't even see the little nose on the cat. And you don't see the eyes. I wonder why they decided to do it that way. Anyway, so... By the time I got into Comicsgate and got into, you know, heard about Grim Reaper, 
uh, I was kind of late to the party. So I, uh, I missed out on the entire first Grim Reaper. So I was thankful when, with the Grim Reaper 2 campaign, they, uh, they, oh, cool. They, uh, they, the roar. Uh, they made available the first issue. Yeah, so, hey, there's a little, here, the creator's page. Pretty neat. So there's John, the author, uh, yeah, the author, the storyteller. Here's Carla, the artist. And then Santiago Gutierrez is the art assistant. Uh, I wandered into Comic Skate on accident. Yeah, I think, I guess you could say I did too. I started uh, uh, on not formally uh, getting into Fandom Menace. I just saw this movement uh, about SJWs invading. Uh, popular entertainment and franchises and screwing them over. So I was into that. And then I, I got a huge kick out of watching Ethan Van Skyver do his videos where he had a mechanical pencil on his iPad and he was going through articles about pop culture. And then uh, he would do reviews on uh, Star Wars action figures. I thought that was a hoot. And a hauler. Uh, and that's ultimately how I got into Comicscape by following him and other uh, creators. So this is really trippy. I love this cover. Grim Reaper 2. Uh, and it's got it's signed by Carla Tornioli and John Gallagher. Those are cool. Those are cool. Uh, and of course, and then is, am I, am I, okay, all right. So it looks like their logo, White Cat Comics, it looks like a little white kit, cat who's sitting on a stool uh, or a little pedestal. And then I think the, the red that you see is a cape, like a superhero cape. I wanted to open this up because I wanted to check out some of the interiors. Man, I got a, I really got, a, oh, wow. I, uh, I'm pretty sure this is what they call Perfect Bound. So their first book was stapled. So you had two staples on the back. Uh, let's see here. Eric says, I wandered in, wandered, yeah, wandered in on accident as well. I randomly came across the live stream where Ethan and Donnie Cates. Oh my gosh, you came in on the Donnie Cates one. <laughs> uh, we're talking, and Ethan told Cates to apologize to the fans that he has insulted and lied about. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy stream. And it's like he refused to say, Hello, Comics Gay. Oh man. I respected Ethan very much for that, and that's when I bought my first Cyber Frog book off eBay. Oh man, did you actually score the original Cyber Frog series? Uh, or, or was this actually from his eBay store? Uh, because uh, when he was working with, uh, oh shoot, what? Was it Harris Comics where he originally published through? Uh, there might be be comics out there in the wilderness uh his original books uh that or maybe they're all on auction <laughs> by now man i love the colors on this cover uh yep ethan held kate's feet to the fire yep 
I bought Blood Honey off his eBay store. Okay, all right, off the eBay store. Uh, you're pretty new then. Welcome. Yeah. I didn't know what Cyber Frog was at the time. Yeah, I literally didn't didn't know anything about Cyber Frog either until, uh, until uh, you know, Comicscape. I didn't come into Comicscape until, like, I think late August, early September of 2019. Um, Case never recovered from that exchange. He was <laughs> jumped. Yeah. Uh, yep, I'm a CG baby. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, my gosh. You know what I wonder, though? After that stream, or actually, no. After the stream of Kate's and his new wife, I guess, I think they're married. Did she stick with them or have they since divorced? I can't help but wonder because, you know, oh man, I don't even, I don't even know if, if you know, they would survive as a couple personally. But anyway, getting back to this. So, uh, perfect bound, nice, smooth uh, spine, uh, glossy. Was this? Yeah, the original one was glossy smooth, too. Here's the back, nice and clean. And it points to, excuse me, their YouTube channel, uh, White Cat Comics. That's nice. Wow, they don't they don't mess around. They have an intro page and then it goes chapter two. Eric, you're liking the glossy cover? Yeah, me too. Me too. Um I mean when it comes to like photography, I'm very much a fan of matte finish. But you know, I understand why people go with glossy. With glossy, in my opinion, it's easier for fingerprints to show. And I have oily skin, so it's one of those things where my fingerprints tend to show. A oh, crap. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm trying to find. All right, so we've got uh, some interiors. Man. So I guess they do. They've chosen to do what they call uh, bleeding off the edges. Is that the phrase or the terminology? Where uh, you don't have a border around every page. It just literally bleeds off the sides of the page. And I don't remember, but I thought that's one of the techniques that also costs extra because of the way it has to be printed. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Oh, and there's a mix of other types where uh, you've got get spaces between uh, some of the panels. So it's a nice little mix. Tatsunami, you're waiting on Grim Reaper still? Okay. Yeah, um, they're still in fulfillment. I don't know if they've uh, tackled international shipping yet. Um, Eric likes matte finish as well. I think Cyberfrog Amphibionics has a matte. Oh, really? You know what? Oh, man, this sounds horrible. But I still have not seen the launch of... Uh, EVS's is uh, other newest project. Oh, shoot. No, it's not amphibionics. It's crap. Warts, isn't it warts and all that he's, uh, he's on now, moved on to? I think, I think warts and all was the next project. Uh, the one that has all original artwork. Uh, and I guess he's doing 
combining everything into a single 80, 90, 100 page book. And he uh, is working on the artwork for the cover. And uh, the book's going to sell for like 30 bucks. I think it went live recently. And he had his launch. But I haven't seen it yet. I haven't watched that stream. I, I've got to catch up. Wow. Holy cow. Man, I'm looking forward to uh, reading this. I honestly have to read all my CG books. I haven't gotten to any, I haven't read anything. <laughs> I've backed all these campaigns. I've received a lot of books, but I have not read anything yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, was not a complaint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I didn't take it as a, a complaint. Uh, Warts and all. Okay, all right. Thank you. Oh, crap. 8T went love. 8T went love. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not following you. I'm not quite sure what you mean here. 8T. Or, or is that one of those emoticons that went low oh live live i don't know for sure you know what hold on hold on hold up wait a minute everybody stop and shake it uh, let's see here you to stream sorry I was eating oh no big deal are you doing uh like all right uh it went live sorry I was eating are you using like voice dictation Voice to text. Uh, warts and all. Oh, okay, all right. Warts and all hasn't gone live yet. Just the mailing. Oh, geez. Uh, I should have known. Uh, the mailing list thing is a, a big deal. Uh, and it's, I think, definitely the way to go with campaigns. Uh, I was so close to figuring that out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it seemed a little cryptic at first. Yeah, uh, the mailing list is like, yeah, okay. Warts. Uh, All right, there we go. All right. Yeah. Every rare early issue of Cyber Frog collected. Yeah, I've got to get this. For the first time ever, a complete volume of every rare Cyber Frog comic in appearance from the 90s. These comics are hard to find and often very expensive. Yeah, yeah. So here's your chance to get all of it in one hardcover omnibus collection. Don't miss out. Brand new cover by EVS. Oh, jeez. Check out the detail on this freaking cover, man. Whoo. And I, I think uh, his... Colors are by uh, Kyle. Yep, Kyle Ritter. You got it. Got him to do it. Uh, let me see here. So, am I showing this? Yeah, I am. Using one hand typing and the other for food. <laughs> oh my gosh, that reminds me. I haven't even had dinner. I haven't. Holy cow! I haven't had lunch. I had. I had breakfast. I went before I started work. I swung by a gas station, Thornton's, if you've heard of it, and I bought those mic, those heated uh, like sausage egg biscuits, and I scarfed them down before I started work. But I haven't had anything since. Well, I did have a couple glasses of uh, sweet tea. Uh, let's see here. I've got to eat something. That, strangely enough, I'm not very hungry right now. Eight is above I on the keyboard. Yeah, true. Rare? How many are there? I don't know, uh, but it... That's an interesting question. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but it was back in... 
Ethan's Harris comic days when uh, he he published, I think it was even before he got the job at DC. He's been in comics for like 26, 27 years. And most of that was at DC, uh, DC Comics, at least until about three years ago where he cut ties. But this was one of those uh, book, uh, Cyber Frog was uh, an IP he, he did when he was a kid. So, yeah. Honestly, I forgot the character was old. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, he finally decided to make it his uh, numero uno IP. You know, get back to basics, go back to, uh, you know, a character he, he really had passion for. And that's the way to do it. Yeah. By the way, welcome again to everyone who's joined us today. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate all your support and for, you know, popping in on my streams. And I always enjoy company uh, on the panel. For this, you like to pop on live. Uh, whether you, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you choose to have your camera on or your avatar, either one is fine by me. I don't mind. It's whatever your preference is. Okay. So that covered all eight packages. I'm going to do my usual recap. Don't flag me, YouTube. <clears throat> so the very first one was this freaking awesome box of training uh, deck of cards. Uh, illustrated by 6 a.m. Comics. Um, man, I... Hold on. I forgot to give... Uh... Hmm. Do I not have them? Oh, wow. Oh, there he goes. I wonder, can I? Uh, let me grab my. Come on here. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. Oh, shoot. I'm doing it again. <laughs> I grew up on Nintendo. Uh, let's see here. Holy cow. Frigga just fired up a stream. Oh, man. All right. Uh, well, I'll be ending soon. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I'll try and hop on his stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I was debating whether or not to go to bed or eat and then go to bed. Maybe I'll maybe I'll grab something to eat and watch his stream. I love Frega. He is so cool and so positive. He's such a positive influence on this world. I appreciate you letting me know, know Johnny Rando. Uh, so got this deck of cards so uh drew let's see i think his name is dr drew e is it is he a doctor uh drew e or drew ish uh e-a-s-h uh every sunday he does a, a bingo game 
on a stream. And if you uh, participate and you win a bingo, then you get one of these cool prizes. And that's one of the things. Uh, one of the I, I've won like two or three bingos. And uh, I have no idea who Frega is. Oh, he's a he's a an uh, in industry veteran of the comics. Uh, well, he's a, a veteran of the comic book industry. Uh, shoot, what was the company he was with? Extreme Comics, I think. Uh, he's been in the business a long time, but he went, uh, he joined Comicsgate uh, a few months ago. Let's see here. And uh, most recently, let's see, I think he worked on a towards the end of 2019, or maybe it was as recent as early 2020, but he was the artist for at least the, the he did the drawings, the sketching, the yeah, drawings, and uh, I think the, the ink, wait, no, he did the drawings, didn't he? And then he had uh, the other gentleman do the inks. Um, Masters of the Multiverse. Yeah, so it's basically Masters of the Universe, but there were different realities or universes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Go for it. I got to run for something to eat, too. All this talk of food. My stomach rumbled hours ago, and I just ignored it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I'm with you there. Uh, yeah, Dan Frigga is great. Oh, my gosh. He's so cool. Uh, he's a master artist who joined CG last spring. His book is Black Flag. He's truly gifted. Yeah. Extreme Studios. All right. Image Comics. Yeah. Yeah. He worked with uh, some really popular comic book artists. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, basically, 6 a.m. Comics uh, did, does artwork on all the, you know, he does his own renditions of all these comic, comic skates. Uh, characters. I don't recognize a bunch of these characters, but uh, uh, that I think is Sunsworn. Uh, Magic Cop. Uh, Cyborg USA. I'm not certain, but this might be U.S. Assassin, USA Assassin, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Cecil, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Dick and Comics from Cash Grab, uh, Salamandroid from Cyber Frog, let me see. I don't know what's better with the light showing or what. Uh, Pillow Man and Blanket Boy. Man, I can't remember if I backed that project. I think I eventually did, but I, I would have to check. Six Gun Gorilla. And actually, you know, goes like that. Oh, that's appropriate. It's on the Six of Clubs. That is, that's a good match. Oh, shoot. Who is that again? I can't remember. And who is that again? Shoot, I don't remember. Um, let me see. Let's see if I can find someone I can recognize. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do -ba do -ba do -ba do 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 Hmm, is that? I think this is Captain Love. And it might also be kind of funny looking when I have it on its side. Little Umbrella Girl. Maybe this is a bit, oh shoot. Maybe this is a better way to display it. A little easier to see. I should have been doing that all this time. 
Golly G. I don't know. Is this is this supposed to be a narwhal? And who's that writing? Is that narwhal and? Uh... Oh wait, no, that's a blue-haired land whale. Shoot. Oh, maybe that's actually uh, Six AM Comics writing the blue-haired land whale. Huh. It's on the Joker card. The other Joker card has this cat. I wonder if this might possibly be uh, that character Splato uh, from Richard C. Meyer. Uh, what is it? What is his full name? Splato Delgado? Something like that? Okay. Put this back in the box. Man, this is cool. I love it. I love it. Oops, hold on. Did I remember to? Yeah, I did. Man, oh, all right. I got it. All right. Oh, well, I'll get back to that later. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is uh, Dirty Work at the Crossroads. This is the main cover. This is the uh, original cover. It's pretty wicked. Oh, you know what? I forgot to open it up to check out some interiors. Eventually, I gotta, I've got to do a bunch of videos where I review the books. Uh, hopefully, I enjoy all of them. <laughs> there will probably be some that... Uh, uh, I I get nitpicky on, but you know, that's the way it goes, right? Uh, this is actually from a creator. Was it Metzger or Nieto? I think it was Metzger. Delgado, De La Verde. Um, but this guy, as I understand, is comic skate friendly. He sells to everyone. Man, this is cool looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love vehicles. I love futuristic looking vehicles and stuff. This is looking really cool. And like uh, with White Cat Comics' book, oh, that's an interesting cut. That's interesting. On this page, uh, this page, there's a white bar, and then you've got some white bar, white space here and here. And then you've got a little bit of white border here and here. Um, but then on this side, well, all right. So there's, it's one, it's another one of those combination designs where some things, it bleeds over, it bleeds off the page. And others it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. All right, sweet. And then there's this alt cover. <clears throat> I'll just put it up briefly because it's, even though it's an adult channel, it seems like YouTube is so ultra picky that they uh, they strike your channel for the silliest, stupidest of re reasons. So this is this is the alt cover. Let's take a quick look see at YouTube and see if they struck my channel, struck my stream. So far, I'm still up. We'll see how long that lasts. All right, beep, 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 beep. All right, uh, 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 next one. <clears throat> Excuse 
good. Got some thumb drives uh, from Geek Chorus. Geek Chorus is uh, a creator. He's got his own YouTube channel. He makes all these freaking funny songs uh, about Comicscape goings on. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, well, the original thumb drives he did, he, he had like all of his music files, uh, transferred to the thumb drive. This time around, I think he managed to get the actual music videos that he has on his channel. Uh, so check out and sub to, uh, geek chorus two words geek chorus uh freaking funny okay let's see here oh is that right the bots take about 20 minutes hmm. all right well hopefully they don't have a conniption because that would suck that would really suck. All right. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I did not know that. All right. You know what? I think this is another one I hadn't cracked open to look at the interiors. I got to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we got Rocket Gal and the Mole Men from Mars. This is uh, by uh, Manny Summers and. Uh, Peter Gilmore and White Holiday. Now, wait a minute. I wonder why Mandy's name isn't on the front. Didn't she? I thought she wrote it. Um, and then we've got, this also just says Holiday and Gilmore. This is the alt cover. You know what? Let's look at the back, see what it looks like. Oh, all right. Well, that's an interesting. It looks like it's got digital effects on it. This is kind of a. It feels like a smooth matte finish. Pretty sweet. But see this uh, effect here. It. Uh, oh crap! What's the name of that video game? It reminds me of. Uh, Oh, shoot. It's not Tetris. It's not Vortex. Oh, crap. It's that thing where you, you have this alien-looking ship, and you spin around. Uh, in the arcades, you had a, a spinning controller. And, uh, and, oh, my gosh. It's a pretty addictive game. Oh, uh, why? Tempest, Tempest. It reminds me of Tempest. You know the the graphics there. It reminds me of Tempest. That's what. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the the version of the game that I I have to this day. It's uh, on the Atari Jaguar. Tempest 2000. All right. So the original book. Also, all right, so this is a staple, and then it's got that effect. This might even be the same back as the other one. And the digital-like effect, you know, she's like flying towards you. It's got some motion. Kind of makes me think of uh, Tempest. Let me see something here. Words. White Holiday, Pictures, Peter Gilmore, Edits, Mandy Summers. Oh, all right. So Rocky Gal was edited by Mandy. But the words, <laughs> words. <laughs> is that the same as letter or is that the same as storyteller, author? All right. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect from this book. But it's very bright and colorful. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be interesting. But it looks like a fun read, so. Uh, it's very bright and colorful, which I like. Okay, then that came with uh, this print. Cool thing about this print is it features a lot of Comicscape characters. You, you've got, uh, let's see, Cecil. You've got uh, Rocket Gal. You've got Kami Mark. You got Captain Fuckhead. Uh, Lilith from uh, Graveyard Shift. I think I see Krampus, but. Um, you've got a uh, six gun gorilla, I think. Unless that's the purple gorilla from. No, it looks like six gun gorilla because it's got a cowboy hat and a, th and a holster with a banana in it. Now, uh, Ardana, uh, Cyber Frog, and what I felt I noticed earlier, which was kind of funny. There's a bucket of uh, what looks like a bucket of chicken, but instead of uh, the chicken shack or whatever the name of uh, Cyber Frog's favorite chicken joint is, it says Red Rooster. Oh, and uh, there's actually the Teddy Bogle Man in the, there. Um, oh, Wart the Wizard is here. Oh, and uh, the Umbrella Guy and Lil Umbrella Girl. So, it's a whole bunch of them. Comic characters. Here's a, a print of Rocky Gal with her dog. I like her facial expression. It looks kind of realistic and less cartoony. I like that. Uh, let's see here. All hail the conquering shrimp. Uh, all right, my dudes, you woke my stomach up, and now I must secure a meal for <laughs> Always good to hang out. Hail. Good to have you, Jason. Uh, you're welcome to, you know, leave yourself on it if you want. And uh, simply go grab yourself something to eat and come back if I'm still going. I'm still recapping. I, I'm I'm recapping the fourth of eight packages, and then there are two uh, trading cards. Uh, let's see, you know, two trading cards, and then on the back, it looks like card numbers one and two. Oh yeah, yeah, the numbers inside uh, a little rocket ship. At first, I thought it was what. I was going, is that a jalapeno pepper? No, but it's a rocket ship for Rocket Gal. So it looks like it tells you a little bit of the story, which is pretty sweet. I'm liking these training cards. Uh, All right, so that was four of eight. <clears throat> This is a, a big old box. This is a campaign I came across by accident, and it appealed to me, so uh, let me see here. I just find that to be a funny thing to say without context. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. This is a, a campaign I came across, and it looked intriguing, so I checked it out and decided to back it. Um, good golly. What order should I do this in? This is a, a freaking big box of stuff. All right, I guess I should start with this. So the project... I don't even think this person is at all associated with CG, uh, Comicscape, 
but it looked like a worthy project, so I figured I'd back it. Uh, Metal Militia, and it's hard hardcover, hard hardbound or whatever. You know what? Oh gosh, I don't think I even opened this one up either. No, I didn't. Let's take a brief look at some of the interiors. Oh, holy cow, I didn't even realize this was inside. Jeez. All right, so it's like a big old print. Dang. I didn't even realize this was inside here. Shows how much I know. Man, I like this artwork. Look how detailed and full, uh, you know, colorful and uh, vibrant it is. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, looking forward to, definitely looking forward to reading this. What a trip. Oh, man, I love that. Man, some of this, oh, shoot. There goes my print. Damn, this is good. I like realistic looking stuff. All right, so that's just one small part of this whole package. Oh my gosh. Um, so much stuff. All right. So then there's Carbon Gray, uh, Volume 3, Mothers of Revolution. This is a perfect bound. Looks good. Looks good. This is a this is a trip. They went through the trouble and made an action figure. Isn't that wild? And it, it comes with a stand, this thing in the middle. You got uh, a couple weapons. I wonder if you, let me see. Okay. I was curious as to whether it had like additional hands you could swap out. But no, man, the detail on the uniform detail on the outfit look at all the little creases and folds jeez i was kind of hoping it had swappable hands and uh one or two additional heads you know with different facial expressions but it's still cool it's very cool dang dang <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I guess, oh, there's another book. All right, so this one is Carbon Gray Volume 1. And then it looks like it's a double set. Oh, wait. oh, no, it's two books in one bag. All right, that's right. Uh, Carbon Gray Volume 2. Volume 1 is Sisters at War. Volume 2 is Daughters of Stone. Man, this looks so cool. Um, all right. And then, let's see, we've got couple smaller books. I don't remember if these are supposed to be ash cans. 
Freaking cool artwork. All right. Yes, it continues. There's even more. And then you've got uh, this uh, postcard. I gotta find some way of storing my postcard. Oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe. Uh, container. This is actually a, an audio CD. And it's got the tracks on the back side. So that's really sweet. Then there's a, a phone case. I think it's way too small for my phone. Because I like having a big screen. So this wrap around. Pretty sweet. And then there's cards. I told you there's loads of stuff in here. Oh, jeez. Trying to do it so that you, you get the light. I have a, a, a floor lamp here right next to me. And that's what I'm using for my light at night. Funny thing about apartments, at least the ones here, is that you know, like, there's no ceiling light in the living room. You know, I, I always thought it only made sense to have ceiling lights in the living room. I don't even have one in the bedroom. Isn't that crazy? It's like everyone's getting super cheap. Then you have to go out and buy your buy additional furniture which is a pain in the rear sometimes this came with prints so i guess the i don't know if the artist uh officially worked for dc comics before or if they just did some wicked uh, fan art or what uh so what direction is this is she supposed to be falling or I think she's upside down. I think it goes like this. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's this way. But this is uh, from the this is the character from the book that I picked up. And then the rest of them are uh, well-known characters. You got the Punisher. Yeah, Judge Dredd. And then you got a Punisher and Wolverine. So that finally concludes that one. <laughs> so much stuff. All right. So on this one campaign, all right. So with the, all right. With the help of uh, Shay, a.k.a. Shay Zombie, a.k.a. Red Valkyrie, um, humana, humana, humana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she does cosplays, and on her show, whenever she has guests, she tries to do a cosplay of a character from her guest's book. Um, so what we have here is something from, uh, I DM'd Shay <laughs> to help her, uh, help me, uh, get over this, uh, mental block, um, of forgetfulness. Um, this is actually from the campaign God's Hand. So I backed God's hand, and I got this one-of-a-kind cosplay hat that she made. 
So she made this by hand. It's got a real feather. And one of the, I don't know, maybe it's something goofy uh, for me to be gushing about, but uh, these are literally actual threads. She threaded this. You can tell, well, all right. So let me see. Where did it go? Where did it? Oh, crap. It's, oh, it's on this side. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, all right, so there's, shoot. Ah, I did a much better job earlier. All right, so there's Shay's signature. And then you can see the, up there, the, the threading on the inside. So it's really sweet. And then she uh, did all this stuff here. However she did. I can't help but wonder how, how she decided to do these eyes. But they're kind of glittery, glowy. And uh, it's got all these bones all the way around so pretty sweet i gotta put it in like a display case or something uh, maybe i can find a, a clear box or something so that it doesn't collect dust but it's pretty darn sweet so you know that reminds me let me see Uh, see if I can still find it. Oh, I think uh, Indiegogo. Oh, it's still in demand. All right. When you mix HP Lovecraft, Supernatural, New Orleans Legends, you end up with one hell of a gumbo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he's got a t-shirt, huh? All right, so there's the hat. There's the hat. Is my head misshapen? <laughs> uh, is my head misshapen or is it just one of those things where Hats don't fit everyone the same way. It, feel, it feels like my head is more oblong than oval or round. Yeah, you can probably tell I'm not used to wearing hats. I barely even uh, wear uh, ball caps. Oh, shoot. I forget. Did I even? All right. Whoa, shoot. All right, so this is, uh, this is another big one full loaded with goodies. Okay. All right, let's start with the drawstring tote. This is Eva by uh, Anes es es Eskender. So this is a, uh, it's kind of like uh for those of you familiar with uh, uh, Eon Flux from Adult Swim back in the day. It's got those kinds of vibes. And then, all right, so this is, I guess, the tier that had the, 
Well, one of the things that had the most goodies, there's a hand drawing slash sketch. Dang. I'm still marveling at how <clears throat> the artist was supposed to able was able to get such pristine lines original page look at the detail in the buildings jeez man jeez this is page 17. Uh, look at that look at the gal on the motorcycle man come on man <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I don't know if that's supposed to say page eleven or what, but this this doesn't have a a page number in the top like the other one does. Look at all that detail. Okay, do I have one of these that's, I think I do, don't. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I do, all right. <clears throat> so this is what the, the bundle looks like. There's a, a print, uh, two books, one original cover and one variant cover, and then postcards. And I'll show you what th that looks like in a bit. Hope you have lots of wall space for your awesome new art. Yeah. I mean, I'm in an apartment right now. So, I mean, even if I, well, I still have quite a bit of room. But the weirdest thing is happening. For a bunch of my uh, early movie posters, uh, they are 24 by 36. And uh, they, you know, they, they hang just fine. But some of the, the ones I was trying to hang recently, for whatever reason, uh, over time, they, as well as a bunch of my picture frames, have actually fallen off the walls. I'm using this 3M, uh, 3M brand, you know, adhesives. And uh, it's supposed to, you know, be like hooks to uh, keep the keep your walls undamaged and without blemishes <clears throat> excuse me so you don't have to worry about using nails and stuff but the thing is they don't seem as reliable as they used to be here's another piece i mean again the detail good gracious the detail I, I guess I'm a sucker for highly detailed artwork. I'm detail-oriented, so I dig highly detailed stuff. Okay, here's what... All right, uh, let's see here. How do I do this? All right, actually, let me show this this is really trippy and then as you'll find the image at the bottom with her kicking these robots or androids or soldiers is the very same one that was chosen to be on one of the postcards So, 
That was actually pointed out to me. I didn't notice it myself. <laughs> I was like, what? Holy moly, that's cool. And then uh, I got another bundle. I think I backed this project three times. Here's a print. Really nice. I had that same problem, that 3M adhesive is garbage. I mean, for the longest time, it was pretty reliable, it seemed. And I'm trying to follow all the directions. They even suggest, uh, like, spraying or wiping the wall with, like, uh, is it vinegar or something like that? But, you know, making sure it's clean. It's got a clean surface, as they always say. Here's the original book. Here's the back. It's got kind of a muted look to it. But it's pretty cool. Oh, and I just noticed that she's got crosshairs. It's hard to see, but she's got crosshair on her. Like she's targeted. Timothy Green did the artwork. Oh, and there's a signature inside. I can't tell. Th oh, I guess that is Anna's. Anna's signature. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, here's that. Here's the page that I got. The original artwork on the one with the building. That is so cool. And then uh, <clears throat> this is the old cover. Really nice. And then the back. Sweet. And then uh, blah, 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 blah. I showed you this postcard. And I, th I can't remember if this is supposed to be right side up or upside down. But uh, yeah. And this is pretty cool. It's like an entire page of work shrunk down on this little card. Oh, here's the words that. Sweet. Okay, so that concludes this one. Whoop. I better be careful. Oh, yeah. There's some adhesive on this bubble wrap pouch. Man, that's pretty dang good uh, packing, all things considered. And last but not least, White Cat Comics. Here's a poster. And again, I gotta flatten it out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then we got, um, this is either like a prequel or a side story or something. But this is called uh, The Curse of the Medallion. You know what's trippy about it? It's actually eight and a half by 11 inches. So this is a sheet of, uh, of printer paper, you know? 
and it feels so large <laughs> when you compare it to the other books. <clears throat> see. I don't know how many pages this is, uh, but I think it's like 10. Or could it actually be longer? But man, look how big everything looks. <laughs> it's a trip. Oh, yeah, Johnny Rando, regarding the whole thing about 3M adhesive, you know, it's just been so disappointing because. I'm not used to their stuff failing on me and, you know, entire picture frames, you know, that I have photos in have randomly fallen to the ground. And because uh, I use picture frames with glass, most of the glass is broken too. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, and then we got Grim Reaper issue one. Uh, as I explained in the beginning of the stream, the uh, I came in late on the Grim Reaper story, so excuse me. Thankfully, <clears throat> thankfully I was able to catch up. Thanks to them offering on the Grim Reaper two campaign the original issue. So some interior art. And then Grim Reaper 2. Isn't that a wicked cover? I just love it. And then it's got it's signed by John and Carla. <clears throat> Man, look at the rich colors. Today. Uh, I forgot. Uh, oh man. All right. Uh, so in Grim Reaper 2, one of the things, uh, one of the tiers I backed was uh, one where I could be a character in the book. So I just happened upon the page that has the imagery of me. Oh my gosh, how funny is that? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot. All right. So, yeah, that was uh, Grim Reaper 2. Oh. Huh. I don't know why. I don't know if it was intentional. But the top of the cover actually has a like a dark I think it's a black line and then it gets into the the color of this image and then it bleeds all the way down to the bottom it almost seems to me like it was I don't know maybe it's intentional but I would think that you'd want the image to bleed up all the way too but I don't know I have to ask him about that. Um, and uh, on the back, I actually like this clean look. I like it a lot. Uh, so you got White Cat Comics. And uh, again, I'm not understanding their decision not to include the little face of the cat. 
Uh, maybe it's supposed to be for mystery, but the cat's facing you, so. Looks like it's sitting on a stool and is wearing a superhero cape. And also, if it is a superhero cape, how is the cape holding on to the back of the cat? Uh, I mean, maybe it's magic. I don't know. And then the YouTube, White Cat Comics. This is actually a clean back. I, I like this idea. Pretty sweet. All right. Yeah, so that actually concludes our P.O. Box opening for the day. Um, yeah, so I think, whoa, shoot. My scissors were kind of overlapping the my extended keyboard. And then I had my phone sitting on top of the scissors, which was sitting on top of the extended keyboard. And then that's why that happened. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. So, yeah. So, we are done. So, we will close this out. I want to thank every one of you for hanging with me as long as you have. Uh, whoa. This literally took three hours and 11 minutes. Jeez. Um, yeah, that was eight packages. Usually, I, I try and do a stream every five or six packages. So, yeah, I did have more than usual. And uh, several packages had loads of stuff in it, loads. Um, yeah, so um, thank you for joining us. I want to thank everyone in chat for hanging. Thanks to everyone who watches this on replay. Uh, and it looks like YouTube still has me going. So does Twitch. Nice, nice. And uh, you can find me on Facebook and YouTube under Wise Guys Entertainment, on Twitter at Wise Guys Tweets, on Twitch at Wise Guys Twitches, on Parlay at Wise Guys Parlays. Uh, Huh. The black line is where you can have John and Carla sign it. Well, what's interesting is it's kind of narrow. So can you see it in the light? You see, especially where the lightning is, is more prevalent or obvious. So, and they've already signed, uh, below their names so i mean i i guess that makes sense that's a that's a good that's a good way to do it if you can uh, shrink down your signature yeah there's an idea i hadn't even thought of that for some reason sweet thanks for the suggestion uh, yeah so ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah I think that covers just about everything. I've got an Instagram, but I, I hardly use it uh, for Wise Guys Entertainment. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, thank you all once again. I appreciate all your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Mark the bell for notifications. Uh, tell me in uh, the comments down below which uh, pieces you like the most or uh, what kinds of uh, items you've received in your P.O. box recently. Uh, you know, what kinds of awesome Comiskate stuff you've received. And uh, we will end the broadcast in three, two, one. Bye.